We're going to visit a silver queen made out of silver dollars. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. <laughs> During the 1960s and 70s, Western movies and TV shows always showed the town of Virginia City. Virginia City is a real working town to this day. Yes, welcome to Virginia City, the richest place on earth. Was. <laughs> or was. <laughs> The history and stories of Virginia City are as unique, rich, and colorful as the streets and the buildings themselves. One must see Virginia City to even remotely understand. It's a living, breathing example of America's fortitude and desire to achieve. Most things in this town don't open until 11 o'clock in the morning and we were here a little bit before that time so we drove all the way through. At its peak, Virginia City had 25,000 residents. It's located 35 miles southeast of Reno, Nevada in the Virginia range of the mountains. Silver and gold were buried deep beneath the streets of Virginia City and men and women traveled from around the world to live and work here. Well, yeah, now we're in Virginia City. Right by the Silver Queen. I love the steel iron shutters on this building and the, and the masonry work that was done back in the 1800s. The steel shutters were put in to make the building more fireproof. They say the Bucket of Blood Saloon was named for the many fights that took place in this wild town during the 1800s. They would clean the floors and pour the mop buckets out the back door and the bucket water was blood red. Well, you win some and you lose some, and you mostly lose some. Mark Twain Territorial Museum. This is down below, paying for gold. I wonder if they still do that. Right. Yeah, it's fun to see it with nobody around. <laughs> the, the buildings. How many coats of paint and plaster? It's seen over the years, huh? Mark Twain started his career as a writer in this building in 1862, working for the Territorial Newspaper. He worked in the town for two years and the building now houses a museum in his honor. The general store and the Virginia City Mercantile sell a unique array of tourist items as well as signs and posters and antiques. With a display like this out in front, how can you help but not walk in there and see what you can find? Yeah. 
I guess we're shopping. What a crazy amount of saltwater taffy. They got the barrels are full. That's a crazy place. Virginia City grew up as a gold and silver mining town back in the 1800s. Today it survives on tourists coming to see the old town and the mines. People live here year round, but summer is the main tourist season. There are Wild West shows, ghost tours, mine tours, museums and trolley tours, tours of all types. As long as you've got the money, they're happy to give you a tour. The mines today are from you digging in your pockets. You have to love that a town like this survives to tell the history even if it is done through tourist dollars. You go down with a stagecoach to the gold mill and to the collar mine. Everything is down there in the holler. Firehouse, barbecue. Not quite open yet. They opened 11. Next to that we have the Virginia City Mining Company where you can actually do a sluice box. Mining for gold. Well, I don't think that they had all those solar panels on that nice new school when it was back in the day, but it's still a working town that people live in. I don't know about the oldest church, but it ain't the prettiest one. <laughs> the prettiest one's down the road. Cost of $12,000. American Historic Sites, 301. It's gorgeous. It's all the way up. Sign says on the front, please come in. You can see these gorgeous, ornate stained glass windows. Beautiful. City. Pacific Cooperative Foundry, Gold Hill, Nevada. Most of the columns have that on it, on them. I like these, the old wood. This is, these right here, everything is metal columns that hold it all up, made in a foundry, right here in Virginia City. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny because they have that 1875. Oh fudge. Oh, that's a big fudge store. It's a real lost art. They're making everything from hand. From the leather boots to the hats. Yeah, I take it that's going to be a boot? No. What? This is a... It's going to cover a guitar. Cover the... A guitar. Oh, a guitar. guitar. Be wrapped in this. That is awesome. Thank you. Things 
things and things and things. Unique and eclectic emporium. Here's the historic bank site from 1864 to 1964. It was established in the agency of the Bank of California. The miners attained their capital that financed most of the spectacular boom in the mining history. This was erected on the occasion of the centennial celebration the state of Nevada and the Bank of California in 64. Bill right there. That's a cool thing just by itself. A dollar bill. Report the silver dollar? Right here. All this? Oh yeah. And a piece of gold. Some turquoise. And we're we're inside of a a bank vault. Bank vault. Three vaults occupied this bank. And this is this is where they kept the stuff safe. We're in the vault. Hey, look how thick the door is. Yeah. That's a, that's a big door. That's a big vault. Pretty cool. The vault. You see the safe door? The original cash register that was used in this crystal yeah. bar. Above that is the original ice cream glasses that were used by Bill Marks in the 1950s. Very cool. The Chinatown is two blocks east. Almost 2,000 people. During, during the early mining days, they came, did much of the hard work, helped to establish the state. Then we visited the Silver Queen Hotel and Saloon. Silver Queen Hotel has 28 rooms built in 1876. The Silver Queen is most known for its painting of the Silver Queen, 15 feet tall with a full body portrait of a woman embedded with 3,261 Morgan silver dollars the Silver Queen belt is made out of 28 $20 gold coins and the bracelet and necklace are silver quarters. The Silver Queen Hotel is not only known for the Silver Queen but also for the ghosts that haunt the building. The building has been featured on many paranormal shows. If you're not familiar with the Morgan Silver Dollar, here's what one looks like. Going into the wedding chapel. We're at the Silver Queen. The door is closed. There's a wedding in progress. Wow. This is really ornate and antiques are just amazing. This piano came across the plains in 1873. You see that? Damn. Who wouldn't like that back? We showed the wedding chapel, which is said to be one of the most haunted rooms at the Silver Queen. The saloon is full of antiques and has a very large single piece wooden bar countertop. The Silver Queen Hotel, which is upstairs, has all refurbished rooms, but no modern amenities, such as elevators, air conditioners, televisions, or Wi-Fi, which is to maintain its historical ambience. It's the Silver Queen Hotel and Saloon that we were in. And there's the entrance to the Silver Queen Hotel right there. Up that stairway. For the Haunted Hotel. One jail down there. That's what <laughs> Antique alley there. Yeah. Okay. 
this is a log building made out of logs here. Everything, even the door is logs. It's pretty cool looking. And the whole ceiling is log and rock. Come in to see our unique seal. It's a, a log building. In between the other buildings is a log building. Built out of log and rock. So the shop itself has got log and rock. Another candy shop. She found another candy shop. <laughs> Christmas forever, but I, we went in and bought some things. And I just love this railing. That railing's been there forever. So, handmade railings here. Pretty cool. You're not gonna go into the hardware store and buy that railing. Really. Red Dog Saloon behind us, huh? Hey, ha! Looks like a party. It is. <laughs> uh, do you see those iron doors? It's the Union Brewery. Beer was forgotten. Six breweries. Was not forgot. Oh. They could scarcely supply the people with the beer for Virginia City because it's a dry climate. Yeah, it's a dry climate. Right? It's hot. Look at the way that, that they got that. It's a trap door. Yeah, it's a trap door. That's cool. That's probably where the stairs are and the deliveries are made. It's closed, but closed right now. Union Brew. We decided to take the trolley tour and have the guide of the trolley explain some of the history of Virginia City. The same mean elevation as Lake Tahoe. Which is about 30 miles west there. We do have about a thousand residents living right here in Virginia City. Five or six inches of rain in the summer. On the left, our opera house built in Virginia City. First two burnt down. All of the theatrical stars of the era played up at Eichner's Opera House. Also on the left right here, we have the Silver Queen, Saloon Hotel. The Queen is painted on the wall in the back of the saloon. She has 3,261 real silver dollars attached to her dress. And I'll show you the significance of that number a little later on in the story. Now things got started up here about 1850. Folks were following the Carson River east of here on their way to the California gold fields. When they stopped the camp at night, they started practicing at night. They started practicing their painting techniques in the river. Well, they started to see a little bit of color, a little bit of gold. A few people stayed on. Over the next several years, they made their way up the mountain and had a little mining camp. Now, I didn't have a name, but the story has it that a miner from Virginia was on his way back to his cabin one night with a bottle of whiskey. He fell and broke that bottle. His friends laughed. He just dusted himself off and said, I christened in Virginia. Nobody objected. The name stuck. Now, right here on our right, we have the Way It Was Museum. They do have some of the better displays up here on how the mining operations were conducted in the 1800s. 
plus a pretty good bid on how the folks lived up here on the Comstock prior to the 20th century. The vulture, the red brick St. Mary's in the mountains. That was Nevada's first Catholic church. The Great Fire of 1875 destroyed both previous churches. They were quickly held together with wooden pegs. No nails. They have a gift shop, a free museum, and a monk's wine cellar downstairs. St. Paul's is not open at this time. The building right here in front of us was the rectory for St. Museum there, but they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. To the left across the canyon, there's a tailing pile, a gray building, a concrete and steel head frame. That's the combination mine. The combination mine was the deepest mine in Virginia City. It goes down 3,261 feet. The silver dollars that I mentioned earlier at the Queen Island tribute to that mine. And 17 brewers. We also imported about 300 tons of whiskey every year. You see the gold and silver from the Comstock all through the monetary standards of the world. You see, it was late one night in October of 1875. A miner living in a boarding house a couple of blocks up knocked over an oil lamp and started a fire. And I was a very windy night, as we know, to have up here on the Comstock. By morning, that fire had destroyed 80% of business, more than 1,000 homes, and the churches, as I mentioned earlier. But it was the heyday of Virginia City. Within a few months, it all rebuilt back in operation. Right over here on the left is the old Washoe Club. It was said to have the millionaires club on the second floor. At one time, they claimed 183 quarters. While upon the Comstock, he penned the name Mark Twain. Lived here less than two years, though. Story has it that he... If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.